baby. Today is the big one. Welcome aboard and good to see everybody here for Pacific Drive. We've been waiting a long time for this one. So let's finally get started. Good to see each and every one of you here. Firing it up now. Welcome aboard. Open world survival crafting, vehicle driving, and much, much more. The developers of this game, by the way, have sent over a package. I have it here, and it looks absolutely glorious. And I can't wait to open up uh, that with you live and find out what the hell is exactly in there and what exactly is in this game. If you're a big fan of games like, uh, or rather, maybe television shows like Stranger Things and whatnot, uh, that has a little bit of that in here. Uh, the 80s and 90s are mixed in with a little bit of E.T. and a little bit of, well, obviously, survival crafting. And um, like I mentioned, Stranger Things with elements of uh, maybe Black Mirror and some other cool stuff going on. In the Pacific Northwest of America, which is a gorgeous region. Tons of trees and fog and uh, mystical lakes and things like that. It's a gorgeous part. Gorgeous part of the United States. And... Uh, will be in the Olympic Peninsula, which is an actual real place. So, one's in the chat. Chat, where yet? Good to see you all here. Finally, we get to play the full game, like the early look of the full game. This is the full game. No more demos, no more betas, no more, you know, like this isn't the, sh the small demo or the big demo. This is the real deal. So, yeah, I don't. So, but take a deep breath. <sighs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to reach over now into a box, a very heavy box, by the way, that the developers have sent over. And we're going to find out what is inside this thing. So we're going to open up a, um, I guess, a, a little promotional thing that the devs sent over. And then we're going to go ahead and open up this game and explore Pacific Drive. Oh, man. All right. Y'all ready? This is going to be really cool. I can, I can tell they already put in quality to whatever this is. Oh, it's heavy. And uh oh, oh, <laughs> and I see what it is already. They're geniuses. Check this out. They sent over an entire toolbox. And look at that. Not today, Satan. <laughs> it's got stickers all over it, and it says Pacific Drive right on the top. Look at that. There's some awesome stickers all over this thing. Rare equipment. It's got alien stuff on it. Olympic gasoline. Very cool. Let's find out what's inside the box. What's in the box? So they sent over a big old red toolbox. That's awesome. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh, you guys are here to see something really cool and really rare. Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. Oh, my God. Look at what they sent. Hold on. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this one part, part out. Inside the little tray that you would get in most toolboxes and whatnot is a like a gas station uniform or like a mechanic uniform. Look at this. Oh my god, they put my name on it. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Radius Motors is the uh, name of the car manufacturer for the station wagon, which is hilarious because that's like the epicenter of the... Uh, of the event. Wow, that's so cool. It's folded up all nice and everything. I don't even want to touch it. That's just that's just super nice. Wow. <laughs> and that's not all. That's just the top thing. That's amazing. Wow. One of the coolest things I've ever gotten. Already. All right, inside the box. Oh my god, there's also a user manual for the station wagon. They actually made an owner's manual for a 1983 Radius Motor station wagon driver's manual. And on the back, they, they just keep dumping stickers all over this thing. It says, uh, on the back it says, uh, Reactors Not War, Happy Camper. Uh, there's stickers all over stuff because, like, in the game, they've got tons of stickers, too. That you can put all over the car. They made a fake user's manual for this car. I think it's actually uh, the game. It's actually uh, the game in disguise. Yeah. Wow, no way, dude. They put in it not only like a user's manual and some instructions for the game, but also like fake 
documents that like show that the cars had oil changes and tire changes and stuff. It's got like a used book inside of it showing that somebody was doing maintenance on the car. And uh, like how to work, look for quirks and things like that. Somebody actually wrote all this out. Check engine light. Hilarious. Wow. It's literally a, like a full manual with notes all over it. That's amazing that they took the time to do that. And this is made out of like some, some real high quality like paper. Like they went all in. Like this is not just like a little shiny sheen. This is like durable stuff. I love it. Tons of stickers. Eat my dust. And look at this too. It's uh, a... <laughs> It's all yellow, so the green screen thinks it's green, but it's an Arda, which is a thing in the game, like an emergency I don't know, government agency. It's like a radioactive uh, like evacuation notice. Oh no, that's cool. Also, a little uh, air freshener. Pine scented, imagine that, hold on. Mm, can't confirm if it smells, but we'll see. Yeah, the toolbox, good thinking, I know. I didn't get the station wagon I was hoping for, but that's okay. I'm not mad. All right, a couple more things. couple more things. Oh, they sent over a, uh, a bobblehead. Mischievous Malcolm. <laughs> it actually goes on your, uh, your dashboard. And uh, I think this is literally one in the game that we may have had, I think. Because in the game, you can, like, bop it, and I think its head will fa fall off. It's a glitch, though. In a, in a weird way. And another thing inside this toolbox, which, by the way, is, it's heavy. It's completely made of metal. It's the real deal. Uh, something called Explore the Unseen. It's a little box. It's rather heavy. Let's see what's in there. Oh, my God. They, they sent paper. No, I'm just kidding. It's foam. This must be glass. Okay, this is, well, whatever this is, this is fan. <gasps> no way. You know what that is? It's a freaking model of the station wagon. And this is, an, uh, this is a cord. Oh, this is a little model of the car. And it actually sits on top of this tray. So this is like a model of the ground. This is the car, and then this must plug in and, like, glow or something. Oh, I'm going to set all this up. I'm going to put all these pictures on exclamation point Instagram and exclamation point Twitter. So definitely, 100%, make sure you follow there right now. Don't delay. If you don't got one, make one. Follow me right now. We're going to set this little model up later today and see how it looks. It's got to have some sort of a glow or something underneath it. They went all out. This is one of the best things I've ever gotten. This is genius. If this were a deluxe edition or something like that, I would have purchased it 110%. Thank you very much, Pacific Drive, for all that stuff. I'm going to put more on Instagram and Twitter, so if you didn't get a good look at stuff, yeah, definitely follow there. Wow, amazing. All inside of a little toolbox. Stickers, bobbleheads, an entire uniform with my name on it. My God, they went all, all out. Wow. Yeah, clanky, clanky. Look at that. Look at, look at how polished it is. You can actually see the monitor. That's quality, baby. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. Well, my day... I can't believe I'm saying this got even better. I, didn't, I don't even know how they did that. Yeah, now I'm a station wagon mechanic. That's right. Okay, welcome aboard, everybody. Good to see you all here. We're going to be playing on um, uh, an Xbox controller today and having a ton of fun. This is going to be amazing, so welcome aboard. Um, yeah, so this game is out tomorrow, for those of you wondering. And this game, I couldn't believe it, is like 26 bucks. I thought this was going to be like, you know, 39 49 No, like 26 bucks with like a 10% discount. I was blown away with that price and also the price of um, Nightingale, too. Th those were around, like, you know, less than I was expecting just for the base price. I was blown away. So, indeed, that was a nice uh, goodie box. This one's for you for sure, man. Mm hmm. No, not a bad price. Not a bad price. All right. I'm excited. You're excited. 
this game is probably going to be my game of the year, or at least I can say I've been waiting for this game forever. Like, you know, we, we played the demo so much that, you know, it, it's time, baby. So let me just um, get the old Xbox controller working, if it will. There we go. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So uh, let's set up our settings. First of all, I just need to make sure that streamer safe mode is on. Yep. There's some copyright music in the game, but uh, they've added a lot more music that wasn't in before, so that's nice. Um, also, I want to make sure the brightness mode is on so you guys can see. Um, oh, no. I think my tiny build... Uh, Tiny build sent over a little uh, Xbox controller for me. I think it's dying. I think my controller is dying. Well, add that to the list. I gotta get a new one. I just need to see. Oh, accessibility. Um, gotta make sure night mode is on. High visibility loot. Brighter nights. There we go. Under weather. Okay. And then video brightness. We'll start with like. We'll start with 1.5. Okay. All right. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks again for subscribing, becoming members, hanging out. Thank you very much for all the super chats, the awesomeness. I'm going to read your stuff now. Uh, Joseph, thank you very much for the 10 bucks, dude. That's amazing. Do they have st st stun lock? Oh, they do. We'll be playing this every day. That was that was included in the box, too, my man. Thank you for the support. WVH Hillbilly, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome back. That is awesome. Big Bad Jeff, good to see you here. Thank you very much for the uh, support. Let's begin. Yeah, Mr. Raptor's going into a uh, first look at Pacific Drive. We all ready? I know I am. My controller is not, though. This is going to be bad if it disconnects while we're driving. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It's on PS5 too? Okay. Good. Well, I'm trying to get my controller to cooperate. Stand by. Yeah. New quirk detected. Controller turns off when doors opened. Exactly. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. Vlad, thank you very much for the five. Awesome to see the developers giving back to those streamers. Legit love the game. Kudos, Raptor. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, playing with the controller is so important for this one. Okay, I'll just have to sit very still. Sorry, everybody, for all the delays. We'll be getting a new uh, Xbox controller today, then, I suppose. Gotta get one. Okay, let's begin. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. 
In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Come on, thanks for the five gift memberships. Thank you very much. JS Express shipping manifest, or to notice, deliver, unload, clean, something, stay on the roads. Hell yeah, bro. We're here! We made it! Alright, it's 1998. South of the barrier wall. Hey, it's the menu screen. We're in a covered pickup. Let's go. So there are ve other vehicles in the game, I guess. That's cool. I'm just enjoying the drive. Oh my god, what are the symbolic meanings of these lyrics? I'd stay on my side of the road, but look at how horribly maintained this road is. There's rocks, cracks, and potholes everywhere. Are we there yet? Chat, I will turn this stream around right now. You want to go back to the day before? We can go go play. Oh, no, we can't. Road in like our 1995 Ford Ranger. Oh. The road is rough. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pulling us around. Hey, 
Here we go. It begins. We've entered the room of requirement. Oh, pretty waterfall. I don't think I've noticed that before. You know, you know what I never get, chat? I absolutely never get tired of making that joke that I just made. Motor City, baby. Ooh, yellow stuff. Tastes like strawberry. The Olympic Exclusion Zone. Get to safety. Find transportation. Oh, we're waiting for a bus? Caution. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. Joseph with the five. Sorry, end of the world. I got papers to deliver. Yeah, that's the most extreme version of Paperboy I've ever played. Uh oh. Hello? Out there. Hello? Dirty? Uh, what a swan, I. Uh, never mind. Hmm? Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. And there she is, boys. Our journey begins. Want to see if there's anything? Pretty much no. Oh, this thing is so hard to drive at the start. I can't tell you how hard it is to drive this car. <laughs> Flat tires. It's it's bad. Chat, look, it's a Radius Motors 1983 station wagon. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? Tobias and Francis. I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? 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 Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean... They're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? Out of no gas. one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. All right, let's fuel up. <laughs> Francis, tune the radar. Hey, YouTubers breaking into the wall again. Dreamers are breaking in. Oh, we better go. I hear bad stuff. Very bad. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, kid, let it be. A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. 
They found a remnant and it's a car this time? It's a car. Holy cripes! No one's had work at Wilson here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. All right. And in three, two, one, there she goes. Get inside. Yeah, it's raining. We better. Our wheel fell off. Great. <laughs> Flip the breaker. Breaker one nine. Breaker breaker. Equip the backpack. Uh, Equip uh, mechanic guy. Okay, ma'am. Hey, drops. Oh, we gotta scan everything, too. No, it won't let me scan yet. Alright. We'll scan later, then. I'm sure there's lots of changes from the demo. We'll have to find them out as we play more today. All right, we got to gobble up everything. We're breaking everything down. It's like a 100% run. We're going to get every little morsel we can.
loot goblin mode engaged. Craft a crude door. <laughs> Gonna make another one if we can. Or at the back. Time for repair putty. Uh, I'm still so in much in awe about that. Awesome uh, kit they sent over for us. That was amazing. That, that unboxing was incredible. Alright, time for Mr. Putty. Bondo. Scan the flat tire. Now we can scan. Ah, <sighs> the rain has stopped. I can see clearly now. Perfect. <laughs> Let's see if we can listen to some music for a change. DMCA free, we'll see. Well, that sounds like a sitcom music song. Uh, install the cardboard boxes in the truck. By the way, best part of the game, you guys ready? You can actually take damage bopping yourself in the noggin with the trunk. Oh, you can only go down to 36% health in the garage. Now we know. And install the craft mat, right? Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. When you listen to her talking, you can. She's drinking. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. She's it's an 80 year old. Star and the only way back to safety. With a little Heck, bit of a problem. You should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. So she gave us something called the ARC device. Sitting in the passenger seat. We'll learn more about that later. Uh, pick up the gear by the front door. Okay.
Impact hammer. Refuel. What's the price? Well, it's the 80s, so... I found a quarter in the uh, couch cushion, so that should pay... for a couple trips. Throw the switch to charge the battery. You all ready? You know what I'm gonna say. It's alive! If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. And it, it does. does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. A Pacific drive, ma'am, to be precise. Okay, so uh, some things that I've learned by playing this game is that the, uh, the parallel lines here are the uh, border of the wall. So we got sucked in to what seems to be a three-layer thick wall. So whatever the hell they were trying to keep in or out of this place is like this weird, I don't know, death blob up here. And apparently they built a wall around that. That wasn't enough, so they built another wall around it. That wasn't enough, so they built another wall around it. So, But it does look like there's other gas stations to go to, other safe areas where there were other gas stations. So there's like one up here, one here in the middle, and then one over on the left side. So there must be some reason why... Oh, we might get multiple bases. We might be able to, like, have those as different points because these travel times take, like, three hours of driving and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a three-layer burrito. Arc Survival Evolved? Yeah. The Arc device is Arc Survival Evolved. Exactly. Also, route analysis. Important stuff. It shows you, like, the uh, chances of radiation or electricity, how much fuel might be in the area, or stuff to upgrade the car, or stuff to upgrade the base. Or where those things might be found, like plenty of cars to loot or buildings to loot, those kinds of things. So, let's pick our first destination at uh, Junction Echo 5. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Alright, we're on our first journey. Let's go. You know we gotta loot everything, too. Everything. It's gonna be a 100% loot, loot run. Including the extra arc devices. Warning: High R4 levels facility. Extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to uh, Gate D28. Oh, R levels. This is. I think they mean radiation levels. Also, when we were outside in our truck before we got sucked into the into the wall, uh, they do mention a. Um, Uh, like a launch site or something? They, they mention really loud noises and a launch site. So I don't know if there's like a space... Like a, like a NASA space rocket here where they were launching stuff or landing stuff. No idea. Joseph with the five, dude. Amazon expects you to get those packages to the inner wall on time. Oh boy. Alright, it's going to be a long stream. Jeff is angry. Okay, let's go. Traveling. This this one's nice. We get to take all of our time, so take all the time you can in this tutorial area. We'll be taking a lot of time here. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Wow. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. 
Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The Octavice is picking people. up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Okay, so we need some things. We're going inside. Did I bring that pry bar? I did. Uh, assign quick slot. That'll do. Also, I think those plasma generators actually keep the lights on in the trailers, so grab that last. At least it sometimes does. Ow. Loot Goblin Emotes. This game looks pretty fun. Yeah, I've played... You guys, I put 20 hours into a creator demo that they gave us. Look at you! I couldn't Out believe the it. Zone, all on your own. We did they like eight streams. So fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. <laughs> yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. One of the best stickers on the toolbox that they gave me is uh, if you live in the U.S., you know the uh, the yellow triangle signs where uh, for a pedestrian crossing. It's like a, a yellow triangular shaped sign, and it shows somebody kind of like almost looking at you while they're crossing the street. Yeah, that but Sasquatch. Thoughts? Uh, this game's gonna be possibly my game of the year already. Like this will be. I'm I'm pretty sure like in my top top three. I've been very excited for this game. Like I mentioned, I played 20 hours of a special demo that they gave us. And we had that car so pimped out. Chat, you remember we had like a like a shield generator on the top of our car. We had a loot radar. We had off-road tires. We had a, uh, well, not an upgraded engine, but we had like upgraded batteries. And it's... <clears throat> Any game that allows you to upgrade your base, and your base is like... A vehicle is amazing. Whenever they do that, it's amazing. Yeah, like my summer car, yeah. Like, essentially, my summer car, you live at your house, yeah, but that car, the, what's it called again? The, uh, I'm trying to say the word sumoi, but that's not it. It's the, uh, I forget the name, but, yeah, we all know that car. It's legendary. That game put, put like, uh, Finland on the map. I mean, it already was. There were plenty of great games out of Finland before that one, but that's the one. Chad, if you're good, we'll swing by a Wendy's drive-thru on the way back. We'll get some nugs. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car victim. are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. I'm Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. Well, I was already no crazy. No one has so. ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was. And now, I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything <laughs> critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. 
Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. She's so awesome. So there's additional audio that we can listen to. Before when we played this, we kind of didn't listen to too much because I didn't want to spoil the story without having full access to it. But now we'll start listening to those things. We're going to loot this entire area. This is going to take a while, but it's going to be totally worth it. Also, one thing that I've noticed is that they, uh, they mentioned that these things might be good to use a vacuum on. It says recommended tool hand back. So there might be a way to suck... Um, we might be able to gather gases that way, like neon gas, or this one's called the sodium vapor lamp lights, so we might be able to get sodium vapors from that. <clears throat> yeah, Oppie's very harsh. Now, I suspect through my previous gameplay on this game that she might have something to do with Arda or the government agency that was here. She's 80 years old. And they mentioned that, uh, you know, research here began back in, like, the late 40s, early 50s. And now it's 1983, so... It's certainly possible that she could have been a senior scientist or somebody on a research team for some maybe earlier government agency before then. Yeah, like right now, I think this game's taking place in 1998. The station wagon we're driving is 83. And so this whole project, this whole wall thing, could have started in the 50s when they built the first one. Who knows? Like, the outer wall looks kind of modern-ish. -y. Maybe the in interior walls look a little older. Like they were made out of different materials, maybe. Whenever we get... By the way, chat, I, it might be hard for me to see because I'll be running from, like, death and stuff. If I miss any lore or something like that, let me know there's, like, a radio transmission or something for us. We should definitely examine all that stuff. How do we look at this one? On, off the job three. Oh, okay, we gotta go into our logbook to read that. All right. Literally, is a little book. Okay, let's drop off our loot. Also, they've color-coded everything now in the game. It used to all just be this kind of gray color, greeny, green, gray, whatever. That was very detailed. So, if you get this game for yourself, I cannot recommend enough that you take the utmost amount of time in this area and gather everything you can. This is like the only time in the game when you get to gather everything without the zone closing in on you. Except for in that portal area, too. We might be able to stay there forever. We'll see. Lim tech. We'll have to find out what Lim tech is. I don't think we can break these down. Can we? Nah. Okay. We're good to go. <laughs> Alright, let me just double check to make sure we got all the uh, cars. We may miss a few cars or something that were hidden off in the corner, but for the most part, I'm going to try to get everything. Oh, dumpster, dumpster, dumpster. Oh my god. 
it's golden. What is that? Oh, our first uh, decal, an Arda decal. All right. Let's go. What is that noise? Thanks for all the follows on Twitch, too, folks. Welcome aboard. Hope you're all enjoying so far. Welcome to the stream. All right, baby, we're going to... Oh, it looks like there's a house just to our right. Hold on. Oh. oh, it was covered by this rock. <laughs> the house is like, who builds their house? Who builds a house like that? Now's the zone. Put a rock there. Oh, arcade machine. Oh, let's go. Okay, well, all seems good. Wait, I want to scan stuff. Here's our friendly abductor. Let's get back to the car. Great day to roam the zone. Hell yeah. Do they sort the inside lighting? No, but there is a setting for, um, you can turn up the lighting and make nights brighter too. And for streaming purposes, so you guys can see, because you're watching a stream, it's good for you to see stuff. When we were playing before, or the default mode in the game is that you should be using road flares to see inside of those dark areas. But I basically just turned it up. So it's under um, video options, but also accessibility allows you to do that. Okay, we're gonna go down to that next street. Is this a horror game? Um, I think you could probably put it in that category, although it's it's a creepy game. I don't sci-fi horror, I guess, kind of. Yeah. I'd say it's got a dusting of horror, yeah. Just a little... Like, you know, a powdered donut? It's like that. A powdered donut's worth of, of horror. Alright, look at this plasma. I kind of find these arc generators fun... Or these uh, plasma generators funny. It's like a, a tube filled with a bunch of glass jars. Uh, wait, let's, uh... Yeah, we gotta break everything down. There's the parts of the wall, I think. Or some sort of towers. But yeah, this game's got quite a bit of uh, accessibility options, which is cool. But everybody can play, which is the whole point of gaming. I want the most amount of people to enjoy every game. Fuel up our gas can just in case we get into trouble. Oh, la yeah, Last Epoch, and I heard the Elden Ring DLC was out. 
Oh, that's nice. They show the uh, amount of fuel in the gas can now. But you can also see it by just hovering over it. But you don't have to hover over it anymore. That's nice. Good job, Des. Right, let's go over there. And we're only going to go a little bit. Not going far. Tried to zap me. Not today, Satan. I wonder what these little towers are for, anyway. Like, why would they build these? I'm sure there's a lot of lore. But we can scan them and find out exactly what they're for. Don't forget to remind me to scan stuff too, Chad. I'll, uh, I'll forget some things. Remind me to scan, remind me to check for lore, especially when we get back to base. Probably best when we get back to base to listen to audio logs. Because later I'll be too busy trying not to die. stations that ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts i've loaded its approximate location to your map look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere okay grandma don't forget to uh, scan the floaty rocks yes luckily the anomalies are kind of um i don't want to say repetitive but they show up in other areas No, I just wanted to close the door. Ah, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. All right. There should be a little fuel gas tank here, right? No, they removed that. It used to be there. Unless... No, yeah, there used to be like a fuel tank there on the corner. I played this game too much. Introductions. Uh, play. Oh, shit. My, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem Maintenance Manager. Artem Maintenance oh, Manager. Uh, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. A big old, old wall. Bat, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology. The ah, maven of electromagnetism. It. That's enough. Resident party pooper. So all three of them worked for the zone. Tobias was a maintenance manager or something? Francis was a scientist. Okay, so now they put the creepy people inside of uh, trailers. That's nice. So now, oh, those things are called tourists, by the way, and they can sometimes, depending on the zones, um, what do you call it, the, uh, it's 
sometimes with the zones um, differences or mutations or whatever you want to call it those things will move around and they'll kind of like chase you kind of oh no I think my car is getting towed can't wait to learn more about Limtech and Arda and what those guys have to do with it. They seem rather friendly. Those, are we going to have like a uh, Andrew Ryan situation from uh, Bioshock where they're wanting us to do something? They're trying to get out and they need somebody like me to help them find a way out or something. They sound very friendly though. Even Oppie who's a little grumpy. She just must be from Minnesota. She's passive aggressive that way. Like for example, Chad, you don't say that you don't like somebody's shirt or that they don't look good. You just say, oh, yeah, I probably wouldn't wear that. Oh, ho, ho. That's like in the South when they say, bless your heart. To me, that sounds nice. That means nothing to me. It's like, oh, bless your heart. Well, thank you. Sounds like a nice thing to say to somebody. It's a different meaning for me. I also don't know what the color coding means. Like I do So I in the previous demo, we noticed that they started to color code things, but I don't know if that's just a way to kind of separate things so they look different, or if there's something... Like maybe they're related to anything in blue is electricity, but that doesn't seem to be true because fabric is blue. But then plasma is blue, and so are 9-volt batteries. And then gas cylinders, so I don't know what that means. And then things with like a little red to them look to be lore that you can read later. Which is weird, because like we can, we can read that now, I think, in our logbook, which we'll read later. But I don't know if we can physically read it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if we can actually like equip it put it in our hands and then like actually greet it we going the right way yeah wait uh, I'll go to that abandoned house later Yeah, is this co-op? Uh, I think this game is only going to be single player. I, there's no multiplayer as far as I know for this one. Yeah, I'm becoming a hoarder. For sure. Where are you? I'm here. Where are you? The dumpsters are like gold mines. use the pry bar or the impact hammer to get through those. Man, we should start scanning. Scan, you goober, scan. Unfortunately, we can't interact with the uh, computers. We can only um, break them down. I'm a loot goblin specialist, that's right. pretty clear.
I hit myself in the face with the door, too. Uh, we're taking damage from radioactivity in the area, too, on occasion. Let's see how much a health kit gives. Heals 50. Okay. Uh, looks like there's some cars down here. Joe, thank you very much for the 32 months. Dubs in the chat. Thank you, man. Welcome back. By the way, if you guys missed it, Pacific Drive sent over a, uh, a personalized toolbox earlier with some really cool stuff with my name on it and a few other things, too. So, uh, exclamation point Instagram, exclamation point Twitter. I'll put up uh, full photos of those later. You don't want to miss it. It's... it's S tier. S plus tier. I was hoping they would send over a 1983 station wagon, but this is okay, I guess. Yeah, we'll get the gas from the cars too, yep. I gotta get the gas can though in the in the old inventory. And this scrapper is about to break. So the nice thing is if we take a lot of time in this area to gather all these things in kind of a slow pace, we won't need to worry about them too much when we get into the more dangerous areas. They'll still be important, but it means we can make room for other loot. We should probably make some extra health kits, too, already. I like how the health kit is literally fabric and duct tape. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. Fuel tank. I think we can also upgrade this thing, too, to hold more. Loot smarter, not harder, yeah. Also, I think the rocks down here will absolutely shred our tires up that way, so... Our, uh, our car is probably going to have to stay on the, uh, on the road for a while until we get those off-road tires, because it just destroys... Like, we'll get flats immediately, or pretty quickly. You're driving a Vista Cruiser from the 70s show? Yeah. Top of the tater to you. I do like me some potatoes. Potato! Let's scan those two. Hello, beautiful. Oh, steel panels. This game is a very peaceful looter for now, but it's about to get fun. Empty. 
Uh, we'll go to these towers later. Is that a bullard? It is. And we'll go to that later too. A couple things we'll return to a little bit later. You know what's refreshing about this game is that for a second I was tempted to like go to this tree and like, you know, collect it in order to get sticks or plant fibers or whatever. So many games you have to go to like little trees and grab those. Like even Nightingale is like that too. Nightingale's pretty cool. I hope you guys uh, have a chance to watch our Nightingale stream later today. You watch every stream? Oh, really? What about this? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, story checks out. I should also check behind these buildings because dumpsters. Well, no S. Okay, uh, yeah. and we'll put that back. We'll go up to that house on the hill after we stop at this next one here. This uh, cockpit with the uh, the HUD and stuff like that is amazing. I'm very excited for another game uh, called Star Trucker 2. That is basically like American Truck, Euro Truck, and like Elite Dangerous in space. Elite Dangerous is, but you get what I mean. It's amazing. going a little bit. Did I play the demo for Star Trucker? Yeah. We played it live here on the stream and then I put another video out on it. But I already know I wanna I, I definitely want to play that one. It just seems like a fun experience. Space trucking like the movie? Yeah, kinda. It's got that whole like, you know American yeah, yeah brother, you know, trucking feel to it. Great. It's like America, but space. Or at least just all, you know, like trucker culture, like from the movies and stuff. What the heck is that thing? Oh, a steel sheet. Oh, that's what they look like now. Uh oh. Inventory's getting full, boys. Time to play some Tetris.
I still wish the game would automatically move stuff around in the inventory to fit fit things. Like, I wish it would just do that auto shuffle to where it would, if there was space in the inventory, it would just make it. weird how it's saying inventory full when it's not. What happens is this is empty and then when I hit that, yeah, that, that's got to be patched. If there's, if there's nothing and you hit A, it's not that our inventory is full, it's just there's nothing left to take. That should be patched. You could still make that little noise where it goes, Dear, but it just shouldn't say inventory full because that's not the case. When you're a loot goblin, your inventory is always empty. How many things do you have in your inventory? 36 million. Oh, so zero. Need more. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that Star Trucker stream was hilarious. I forget what, what else we were playing when we played it. But there is a video on the channel. The video is a little more better in covering the features of the game, but the stream is way, way more funny. Okay, we gotta go up there, right? Oh yeah, we don't have a radar. Hey, a fuel tank. We'll leave that. Okay, we gotta be quick. Radioactivity is high here. MREs are actually... Health items. When we get close to these things, I think they're radioactive too, so they're kind of dangerous. Kind of unwise of me to run that far, but because we don't have off-road tires, it's a little tricky to get up there. Can I use from here without... Oh, nice. Wait, what? Okay, another thing I think they should patch here. When... A health kit is on the right side. If you hit A, all it's doing is bringing it into your inventory. If you hold A... Oh, it does pass. Okay, good. Nope, that's good then. Never mind. Well done. Well done. Okay, cool. Devs are on it. They got it. Alright, let's head over to Dan's place. No, wait. First, we gotta stop at these towers. Oh, let's listen to some tunes. Oh my 
god, I'm gonna I'm gonna love this freaking game. Uh, sir? That's fine. That only makes the car stronger. And same with me. Eventually, we can make clothing to protect ourselves. From, uh, electricity. God, I want this soundtrack. Do they have a soundtrack for this game on Steam? Maybe they will on launch day. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, no. Shows the hidden path. Stare off through the twisting forms. Through the thicket and the black. Night shades begin to take shape. Into heads made of stone. To mark the place of the fallen ones who never made I hope having the radio on doesn't suck up the battery. Oh my god, you can still hear it from here. That radio is going to be awesome. Yeah. Country songs like that are just sea shanties of the road. Let's have an MRE. This paint for just five ninety nine. Paint hello. No. Did they really do that? That much attention to detail? How's the road treating us today? It's an open road, brother. There's many like it, but this one is ours. Interesting. It looks like dressers are going to obviously have more clothes and fabric in them, so it's kind of cool that whatever type of supply container you ha find, it might be relevant to that type of material. Like a crate like this, probably going to have building materials, yep. Like plastic stuff, like rags, plastic, duct tape. Makes sense. I love how you can hear the car from here. I can just hear it. Cr I can just hear it blaring. Hell yeah, brother! Car up there. Our little red toolbox. I don't think there's anything on the shelves. We'll go back and check. Yeah, the car is like the main character. You're just Goob Gooberson. Like, you don't... Who cares about you? Dude, it's the car. Yeah. You're just an assistant to the car. The car is the main character of the game, man. Yeah. I, I agree with that 100. 
Hundo 10. You? Who cares about you? It's the it's the car and the open road, brother. Whoever you are, yeah, that's nice and all, but the open road. Yeah, we're like the sidekick, exactly. We're just along for the ride. Oh yeah, that music's like yeah, like Firefly. Wow, I can't. I, I love that people continuously mention Firefly all those years later. It's a cool show. A movie too. Bring it back, damn it. I didn't realize how much I needed that music. All right, we'll come back here when we go down the road. Gotta make another scrapper. By the way, does this image look familiar, chat? Oh my god, somebody typed exclamation point P.O. box in the chat. That reminds me, i got to have a chocolate today, chat. Another wonderful British chocolate that you guys sent over. I wonder, can we fuel up the... Is there a way to fuel this up? Oh my god, you can do it! Wow, wait, that's kind of weird, but okay. Oh my god. Chat, I didn't know you could do that. Alright, new pro tip. Before you leave the garage for the first time, just uh, fuel up your little uh, your little fuel tank there. <laughs> Does the crowbar say Freeman on it? Does it? No. Yeah, who cares? It's apocalypse. No, I got no. I have to put it back. Chat, I swear, even in a zombie apocalypse, I'd still bring my cart back to the corral. I would. You're like the zombie swarm's coming. Hold on, I gotta put I gotta put the cart back. I gotta put it in the corral. Like that, I can't. I can't. When I go to the grocery store and I see that like Mad Max level of abandoned car shopping carts all over the parking lot, I gotta bring them back. I can't believe. And people just don't bring their cart back, man. I want that to be a federal offense. Like, just put the cart back, please. You walked around the grocery store for 45 minutes. You can walk four to five seconds to the uh, shopping corral cart thingy. Come on. Hmm. Tastes like blueberry. Inventory full for real? No way. No. Yep. Have I tried Cadbury's Whisper yet? Uh, I don't know if that one was in the box you guys sent over. That song's still going? Jesus, how long is that song? We may be at uh, LMC, maximum, uh, loot maximum capacity. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, wait. Do we have any flares? Nope. Fingers crossed for a f five hour stream. Yeah, I was going to start earlier, but uh, we, we may do that. We may do a mega ultra extendo stream. We'll see how we're feeling.
catch. All right. Hey, damn it. Kind of a rare item, we need that. Oh, that's the flare. Never mind. It was glowing red, so I thought it was the... Uh, the thermo thingies. Don't need the flare. This is the one. Don't stop the bop. Don't stop the bop. Now we're driving around in the doof wagon. What's hilarious here is I've I've been, this probably take like an hour and a half, two hours to do this section of the map, and then all the other spots uh, you're there for like maybe maybe 10, 15 minutes before the zone closes and you gotta leave. I cannot stress how important it is to loot in area one. Packs don't stack. I think they do to five, don't they? Or are they not doing it automatically? Oh, is that another thing with this game where it doesn't stack stuff? Hold on. Oh, they stack to three.
But I think you're right, though. There, that was another complaint that I had during the demo was... Um, something about stacking. I can't remember what it was. I think it tied into the whole thing I was saying about how... Um, if you try to put something in your inventory and you have three on, or four unconnected um, like inventory squares, the game won't automatically move some stuff around to do it for you. And honestly, when time is of the essence for getting the hell out of the zone, you don't have time to do the little inventory uh, Tetris, you know what I mean? Yes, hello, Gun Raptor. Hello. Is there a setting for hearing the radio outside the car? Ooh. Good question. We will take a look at that when we get back to the garage. So we're we're in DMCA streamer safe mode. So we might hear a few of the songs that are repetitive, but that just means that the game has even more soundtracks for everybody else, which is Q. I think this song is called Left Behind. Makes sense for what they're talking about. I watch on YouTube, but I remember I have a free sub here. Well, thank you very much. For subbing! Beeple Hemus, thank you very much. Yeah, if you guys have a Twitch Prime, you can uh, sub over on Twitch for free, too, by the way, to support the channel, if you want to. Exclamation point Twitch. You may find the stream quality higher quality there, or whatnot. Oh, bit, bit rates and stuff like that, so maybe you'll like that. Same stream, different spot. Oh, hang behind, that's what it is. In our video on this one, we were able to find a higher quality scrapper, too. So there's more durable and faster working uh, scrappers. Oh, you're right. We could put some crude panels on the car. Good idea. You're totally right. Let's do that. I forgot we could craft those things. You are so right. I need to... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. I'm so usually not crafting because of the, um, the whole death problem from the zone. Good call, chat. That'll help us in the escape. I 
I think we need to... Okay. Alright, that'll do. Good call, chat. And thanks to everybody following over on Twitch, too. A huge number of people just followed, so welcome aboard. Did the radio stop? get that on the way back down. Jam. Spam cat jam. Cat in my lap. One of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. Is the car still running? Not that it matters. Fuel is pretty good in this game. We'll get that in a minute. Our hammer on that door. Um, this the door. The device no. is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Hey, Grandma, love you. Christy, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Oh, no more music. Oh. Hey, Hoppy, like, look, I, I keep thinking the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. I. Seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? 
The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. Hell I yeah, sister. I this breach's head when I sent them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine. Stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait. Really? Hoppy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. You're a role model. I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. Indeed they are, those damn bunnies. I like how they refer to us as both Breacher and Driver. Oh, chat, we're almost at maximum loot capacity. Hate to say it. We're going to have so much to do in the garage when we get home. Our garage is going to be... Oh, we're going to have so many materials for everything. Okay, we got to go back and get that other thing. We want to get as many of those arc thingies as we can. Any more tunes? Yeah. I can drive good. Bunnies! She sounds like Catherine Hepper, really? Interesting. Alright, so we are here. Oh, there's a barn up there. Oh crap. Oh, that's okay. Very bad. Recently. don't need to do a full loot on this car, but I do want to check the back panel. Yeah, for that. Okay, okay we're getting full, so I'm just gonna not loot. I know. I know, I hate it too. rocks are going to chew up the tires. Oh, 
Alright, let's go to the barn and then get another arc. Limtech thing. Can you loop panels and put them on your car? Yep, you can. Well, yes and no. You can... You can steal tires and other things from cars, but you have to have a special weapon to do it called the Liberator. It basically shoots like a little grenade at uh, car parts and blows them off, and then you can put them on your car. So we can do that, but not at the moment. we got to research that. Apparently there's a barn here. To our right. Oh yeah. There she be. Oh, another crowbar. Grain silo. So, now we need to get, there should be one here and then one just down the road, and then we're done here. Since we're in the mountains, I'm going to have to go on foot, I think, to be able to hear it. That's one of them. Not the one I'm looking for, though. Nothing inside the silo? I don't think we can look inside. No. Okay, now. Very important, chat. We're getting to the point where there could possibly be... Now, I don't know if this oh, happens in the tutorial me. level, but... Take your time. If you never get back to the garage... That suits me just fine. I want to see if when the zone is uh, closing, if it'll drop that, uh, you always remember the uh, the meteorite or whatever, the, the, the thing that happens, the drop pod. It might not happen. We're going to try to go for it if it does, though. We're about ready to leave and go back to the garage and begin our adventure. It's happening. It's about to happen.
All right, I'm going to back it up to the road. Because if a drop pod falls, I want to be on the road to go get it. Yeah, it's about to get spicy. Okay, let's see what happens. I'll take the one on the left. Standing by. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Purposely taking some damage. You don't think I have the inventory to carry anything from a drop pod right now. True. You're not wrong. But I did clear out a little bit of space in the car, in the trunk. But, just for everyone else, I'm curious to see if the uh, drop pod will actually uh, drop during the initial section of the game. thousand kale maybe it'll drop in our first official area Is taking minor damage. I think it's time we go. I will leave in five seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. There was an arc tower there. Damn it, I could have got more plasma. Eee! Oh boy. Landed it. It's called the Leroy Jenkins maneuver. <laughs> Alright. Well, there was a little bit of plasma there, but there'll be plenty more. We made it! didn't get you that gateway would hmm. did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing I mean they've been rodents but it's not like it's completely untested but anyway it worked so you should have made it back with everything you collected out there that's the beauty of the gateway it's the only way to get back with all your models intact now take those parts you found into the back room I'll let you use my fabrication station for now that station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Okay, Grandma. So basically, those little orange balls that we collected go into this computer as like upgrade points. So now we've got four points to spend in the upper left corner. So now we're going to build a radio antenna. 
That's going to help us to scan further and go further into the zone. Upgrade complete. Who's Opie? Uh, I think I mentioned her name. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. She's like a scientist from... Ark. Arda, I mean. Okay, so, upgrade complete. Oh, who's who's the voice actress in real life? Good question. It's almost chocolate time, chat. I'll get the handbrake from storage. That thing there is like a little computer where you can customize your controls for special abilities. The handbrake is considered to be a special ability, I guess. Oh, what's that? Health kit. Eh, I got an idea. We'll use the vacuum. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Whenever we craft stuff, it pulls automatically from the uh, storage containers too, so we don't we don't have to be organized at all. It'll just automatically uh, pull from there. The red clipboard can go into the fax machine. Oh, really? This thing? Oh, you're right. Store in fax machine. Yep, you're right. So that's how we read those. Thank you. But we gotta unlock that first. Let's do our unlocks. Let's unlock some new tech. First of all, I think we gotta upgrade the storage because we're, <laughs> we're already full. Uh, what is this? Oh, matter deconstructor. We need that too. Missing ingredients. Keep four gears. We're gonna make three gears. Get that upgrade. Yeah. This thing's awesome. The one thing we can do to save space is we can take all of our scrap metal and turn it into like sheets, and then if we need scrap metal, break it down again. Good idea. Detailing station, ex extendo locker, outfitting station. We want that for sure. We can upgrade ourselves that way. Nice. Nice. 
medium backpack. <laughs> First thing we're making. Thing stores more stuff. More stuff is good. Now, what else would be good? Um... Blowtorch would be good. Ah, the Liberator. That would help us to take uh, car parts. But we need more of those uh, thermal... The things from the, the tourists. I don't think we have enough to make that yet. Oh, we could upgrade to... Um, yeah, we could upgrade to all steel parts. Let's do that. Yeah, I got a haircut yesterday. Yep, thanks for noticing. I sure did. All right, let's research steel. What is that? Oh, side rack. Where the hell is steel? Oh, it must be under refine. Oh, gear. Oh, bulb and then steel sheet. <laughs> well, I guess we should get a bulb for the car. Headlights. I went outside. I did, yep. I sure did. Yeah, I think the upgraded wheels require steel sheets. At least to get the off-road tires. Oh, we're going for that, too. Those are pretty good upgrades. Uh, better armor for the car and better wheels. We'll go off-road, brother. Oh, it takes 1.5 energy to do that? That's right. We'll get it after our next run. You watched my YouTube video on this a couple days ago, hoping to see more. Here we are. Okay, let's make some sheets. Sulfur and smoke glows through the snow. Wait, I want to do. Uh... Smells like money. So if we can't get the tires, I'm going to get the armor then. We'll get the tires next time. Steel panel or door? Panel. You might have to bang behind. Okay. Well, let's rip all these up. Upgrades! Big upgrades, too. Getting that steel stuff is good. you remove doors and paneling? Oh, at the bottom there's a button for it. Uh, it looks like the little power drill. In this case, it's Y. Yep, Devil Dog, welcome.
All right. Time to make some uh, doors. Wait, did I pull off the back door? Yeah, I did. Upgrades. The hood will have to go too, yep. Oh, that's already a steel panel, so we're good. Car hood is good. Look at this, we're actually getting a decent vehicle. That's awesome. Outstanding. have a mega extendo stream of this today? I think so. I think we will. Now I kind of wish I would have started earlier, but then... I just like this game. Oh, these tires are bad, man. I wish we could have gotten that tire upgrade. That tire upgrade's 1.5. That's expensive. You know what? Rather than repairing these, let's just make new ones. Wait. Those two are spares. This is summer. Can we make a summer at least? Oh, we can. Alright, so summer is at least upgrades. You two are getting tossed. Man, I wish. Man, could you imagine how nice life would be if you had a deconstructor at home? Like, rather than throwing anything out, you just get all the materials back for it. Like, instead of having to get rid of an old couch, you just salvage it. Get all the materials back. Implying that you could craft your own. That would be nice. Yeah, I, I wanted to go for the off-road tires, but we, we ran out of points. I went with the deconstructor, the um, the steel panels, and the uh, steel doors. But we'll, the tires are number number one, like, must-do next. Like, it's the first thing we got to do when we get back. Giving good vibes.
Mm. Instead of repairing this, let's just rip it off. We'll make a new one. that bondo do we use it all A little damage here and there is not not bad. decal in there. Ooh. Oh, this must be... Oh, also, I'm playing with, like, the Deluxe Edition or something that's got a little bit more decal. So we got the... the shuttle decal, radium driver. And we found that Arda one. Oh, we gotta look for those vans. Alright, let's fuel her up. Barely use fuel on that run at all. Yep, this drops for everyone tomorrow. We're taking an early look on it today. Okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, repair cars at 99, that's fine. Road flares, we'll find those in the road. Battery jumper, meh. Yep, I think we're fine. Save just in case. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? Sure am. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Alright, so... We're gonna go, basically... Uh... Get... We're gonna, like, go through a test to see whether or not this thing has some magical powers, but we have to get near a weird portal to do it. So we want to go here. But we have to go through two areas to get there. To Serum. Let's make sure we've emptied our loot. Now I think we can stay in this area as long as we want to. I think. Maybe 
maybe we should do the side thing first. Because then we can get upgrades to carry even more stuff. Is there more I could Is there any more upgrades I could do here? Research like tree candy, what the hell? And we need more plasma. And I think we have to do the research above. Yeah, everything else is b uh, locked below. Wait a minute. Yeah, we can make another saw. I was thinking about doing that when we were in the field, because we can find those materials pretty easy. But we can make it now before we go. So let's check and see if anything's different in here. Yep. Free stuff in the back of the car again. telling us that we can go to these areas later, but we can't scan them yet, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's a scripted. There's a car here now, didn't it used to be a van? Every time you come back, the car that's here may change. It might be a van, it might be a car. The world changes a little bit when you get back. Like the, uh, com there's a computer and a radio here on the shelf every time you come back to, but yeah. Uh, you can't build more storage, but you can upgrade the storage that you have in the, in the garage, which they didn't let you do. Okay, let's keep going. Test that handbrake. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You can do more uh, storage on the car. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I was thinking of base storage. But yeah, the car can hold more. I don't think you can upgrade the interior storage of the car, but you can put like storage racks on the outside. Oh, we can go here if we want. Hmm. I want to... This is a story area to where I think the zone never closes. And the looting opportunities there could be gargantuan, but we're going to run out of space. So maybe we could go to some other areas here to do some looting. To try to upgrade the car to hold more stuff for the big, the big haul at Sirium. There's a damp forest, tr a town center, remote town center, residential. Didn't it say train station a second ago? This one looks like it's got great loot here at the town center, so let's do that. If we can. Yes, we can. Yeah, I think we should do the sides. Yep. Yeah, because I... Maybe they patched it so that way the cappy thing is timed, but I don't think so. So if we can go to an area with massive loot with massive storage, we're going to have a good time. Holy hell, look at all those... Oh, my God. Oh, there's a... Oh, they show our videotapes all right, stuff, too. And look at this. There's already arc things. All right, we got to go. Time to play for real. Wow, they changed this. This looks weird. Okay, so now it's timed. And we're going to try to get all the arc samples we can. This will help us with research. 
get that one first. Can't go too far off road, but. The ARC device needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the ARC device until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? <sighs> There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now, there's no one to get in our way. Hunt? Hunting what? Looks like there's another building up here on the left. Maybe we should avoid some of these tight-knit buildings and try to go for the, uh, the ones inside the town. Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but, uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here, like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, are be. You're brilliant. You control fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, burrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're setting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I moot. forgot what a charmer you are, R.P. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. If we see vans, though, we got to stop the van. Do we have a flat tire already? I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, yeah, she's pulling to the left. God, these tires suck. Not that bad. It's so hard to see stuff, dude. Is that a van? Just a rock. These tires suck. Do scanning a little bit later. I think I want to get to town now. No. I hate that damn thing.
Oh, it's a pneumatic deposit box. Cool. I forget how these work. That combined with the mint and it gives you the horrible nightmare. Yeah, I, I, I suppose I could see that being a bit of a thumb. I'm pissed. Haunted. The set upon. By horrors the likes the world has never seen. You know, every time I go to the dentist, I always have nightmares about that too. They always keep talking about how I need to floss more, and I just, I don't get it. Is this part of the minty freshness? What the hell is this like audio right now? Damn it. That swirl there, that purple, pink, orange swirl, if you drive through that, I think that thing is called left, right, left, right, or something like that. Basically, it, it, it grabs the wheel and swings the car around and, like, makes the horn honk and the windshield wipers go out. And I think it reverses the control of the car, too, so left is right and right is left. I'm trying to go to the big town. Maybe we can get audio while we're there, too. So we need to take a left. I'll turn the radio on and stuff, too. I want to go to where the density is higher. Houses. Also, I want that plasma, but right now I just want to check the buildings. If there's a lot of density here. Okay, this is good. Thank you, sir. Oh, what's that? Dumpster pearl. Oh, nice. Any more? What else you got? Anything? He's out. I'll just use this. Deer crossing. Yes. Good call. Got something else called the... Oh, teal paint. Just just paint. Oh, the, wow, there's even a crafting bench here. Nice. Oh, we can make a ceiling kit. Fix that damn tire. Okay. But there, there's also crafting benches with the car. Although, I think the car... Uh, the crafting benches you can find are, like, better than that, the car. Like, it can't make as much stuff. Dumpster, uh, dumpsters out back. Nope, okay. Cause when you're bitten something new, you never know what the cost will be. But we just wait. an office building, kind of.
Lots of canned food. Tools under. Oh, no, we need like gas cylinders and stuff. Damn it! The complexity has in uh, increased a little bit. Okay. We might find those things. Okay, cool. Backpack, let's go. this house. About time for the zone to start closing here. God, I don't give us much time. What does that mean? Gateway to... Oh, those are gateways. Okay. New symbol for those. Nice, lots of duct tape, death. Full loot mode. Is there any open exits? Oh, you're right. No, actually, uh, no, in this one we're gonna have to teleport out. Yeah, we can't just drive out on this one. Something we can drive to the next area, in this case, no. Well, I don't know what the guitar strumming was about. I think the radio will probably play some secrets. We'll just have to hear when they pop up. Yeah, we'll scan anomalies for sure. I miss I miss some of them on the way here, but it's more like I knew there'd be more. I don't I want them to not be on the on the road. Is that radio indestructible? That's a glitch. Okay. And destructible radio in the garage. Another cool thing about having the radio on the car is you can hear it. 
I can literally, if you leave the door open, you can go back. Yeah, uh, I need a gas cylinder to make the impact hammer. We have to find, like, an artist trailer. I don't know if they'll be here. Oh, I don't know who's transmitting. I don't know. It could just be... Maybe Francis and Tobias? Could be signals somehow getting in from the outside? Could just... They may just unexplain it. But it does look like they put in some thought about it. They tried to make it a little funny like... Some of the Grand Theft Auto radio stations. Yeah, it's a remnant radio. It cannot be broken. Good thought. And Roadhouse, welcome back as a Raptor Egg. Welcome. Good to see you in the chat again. You can just kick those fences down. a little bit. What is that? There's a... Yeah, there's a bunch of barns there. It looks like that might be maybe the town center or something. I wish they'd make the car thing a little bigger on the map. It's kind of hard to see what way the damn car is facing on the map. Then again, we do have a compass on the dashboard, so obviously we're going northwest. I want to check out this area with the barns. So much loot, so limited by time. Yeah, this is the full release version of the game. It will come out for everyone tomorrow. We get to take a little early look. There's a arm silo. Is this worth looking at? It tells us the time in the upper right corner. Yo, Aquain Bay with the five. What's up, bro? Welcome back. Stop driving cars in the ocean. It's dangerous. Also, 600 people and only 300 likes. 50% oh, of the people have hit the like button. Cool, guys. Well, thanks. That's pretty good. Half of everybody watching? That's pretty damn good, I think. Apparently, there's a train car up here, too. shiny. There's a light coming out of that house. Is it anything special? Ah, just a light. Mm, I don't think we can get in there. That's a, sh a shame. Such a huge barn and no way in. Unless... No. chair.
can we scrap that light? Ooh, good question. It didn't have a health bar, so probably not. No. Okay, so now I think we'll circle... Oh, there's a, the train car up here. Damn it, the car indicate the... Damn. Okay, I, I gotta use the compass more. I rely on that map and that damn car is too small to see. Here's a train car. Well, the zone should have closed by now. They gave us so much time. Uh, it's just a cistern and a log car. I think this might be a train station. That's what that symbol means. This building? Yeah, it's got to be it. The gas station should be... Right there, okay. <sighs> this building has a completely different symbol than the others, and yet it's kind of... Not, nothing here. Maybe sometimes they're not locked. Perpetual stability. This game, this this level is always stable. For real? I got so used to the demo to where everything is just trying to kill me that I just assumed that I was going to die. Wait, you're saying we could just stay here forever looting? I got so used to it closing. Am I able to see... Wait. I don't see that as a thing for this one. Is there a way I can confirm that? Dumpster Pearl. Oh, they changed the <laughs> the shape for that. Okay. If we need fuel. We'll come back to the gas stations. I'm free to loot at my own leisure. I'm not used to this. Thankfully, we did all the loot in the first area then. We don't have to do as many of these side things then.
Oh, it's radioactive. We shouldn't stay out here too long. I want more plasma. Oh, damn it, I can't get in there. Can I hit something here to make this go back to my base? I thought we could put stuff in those and then like pull the... Throw the switch and then it'll come back. These may have uh, gas tubes in them. Yeah, there we go. Now we can make the pneumatic thing. Okay, I think we can make the... The thing now. Do we get paint? Oh, cool. Let's make a pry bar. Damn, we need a gas cylinder. I thought we picked one up. Oh, pressurized cartridges. That's what we got. We're definitely going to have to carry one of those on us at all times. Let's see if we can get back to the road. Can opener. lights on so I can see the car. Oh, hey, look. Our first, oh, it's a fuel truck. Damn. Don't really need it. I do want to go to the tower, though. Nope, can't because we don't have the damn... Alright, if we're gonna find a gas cylinder, we gotta find an Arta trailer. There's another one there. Maybe. Let's try to get that door. Attorney, that's Opie. So the U.S. government made it disclose that this thing existed, this place, or at least the this year tech. is 1955. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff-backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous, a lightning bolt frozen mid-strike and the reaction immediate. The 
gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. Oh, is this NPR? Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Yeah, this is a roguelite, yes. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture, and she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers I guess I should just use the waypoints more. It's way decade. easier than steering the, the car. Mother of Lynn technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blink and you miss it promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of Lynn technology disappear. Hmm. NPR lore. Yeah, more free lore through the radio, yeah. Okay, we need to see if we can get gas cylinders so we can make that pneumatic thing. I didn't realize those would be so difficult to come by in this area. I don't know if there's release times for release on this one, but it'll probably be around, I'd say, 24 hours from now at the very most. So I was basing my setup on prior runs in the game, and it seems like now we'll want maybe more equipment before we go into the field, rather than hoping to find it while we're out here. to having all the time in the world to do this. Train cars don't seem very promising. There's not much in there. We pretty much went down this street. I hit up most things, including the those two buildings. The train is pulling out the station. The wind is blowing us away, somebody. Stop I think we could leave. I think if we just go up to this intersection, we could just drive down the road. But I really want to see if we can get a drop pot. Oh, there's a... There's one there. Let's go there. We could see the marker before on the map. Like, I feel like that's new from the last time I played, where I'm not used to even marking and looking and seeing that. Damage. The tracks are jumping on their own now. The rain is asking if I know how much it hurts. Oh. 
like we can do anything with that. Alright, time to leave. Let's get set up for leaving. Well, this changed things more than I expected. I thought that every time from here on out it would be time, and so I came in kind of just thinking, alright, let's get this center of town, loot as much as we can and pale, but they were very generous with giving us a lot of extra time. Although, I didn't have a pneumatic, uh, I didn't have the impact hammer ready to go, so we missed out on some trailers, however, that would have more than likely just been some more electronics, which I think we're good on. We're okay. The most important thing we already picked up right at the beginning, which was those little arc things, the little glowing balls that we put in the, uh, that I put in the passenger seat. Uh, okay. Actually, we can just go to this one. Change of plans again then. So I was going to go to that one, but I think we'll just go to this one. Because all I got to do is go right back to the start. And we'll just drive down the road. Loot denial. Yeah, I kind of de denied myself loot a little bit, but honestly, this was like our first real run because this is like... Now that we're in the full game, this is how some of these runs will be. It must and then when I looked at it, though, it, somebody was mentioning that uh, the stability was at peace, but I didn't, I just didn't see that. Running through those might make the radio spit out some more lore. Maybe those aren't the worst things. Okay, let's spin around and then we're ready to go. Got very nice hair today. Just today? I thought it was every day. Still a little messy, but yeah, I got a haircut. Thank you. Very nice. Let's go. Oh, you know what I should have done, chat? Oh, rookie mistake. I should have had the damn zone closed in the middle. So that way we could have uh, possibly spawned one of those damn drop pods more towards the middle of the map. Alright, now we play the waiting game. I want to see if it drops a damn drop pod. I want a drop pod run. Got health kits, I do. I want to wait right here.
All right, we're in the yellow zone. I bet it's going to be over here. Standing by. Yep, there we go. There it is. There it is. Where'd it land? Oh boy, we can make that. No, go. Damn it. That's a pretty windy road, though. Well, that's interesting. The zone seems to have uh, calmed down a little bit. But at least we saw the drop pod. So here's what I'm going to do. Next time we call out one of these, I'm going to drive towards the extraction zone and then wait near the extraction and then see where it drops. Maybe. But you got to kind of get lucky. Like sometimes it's in, that was in a pretty good spot, but we were just kind of in the wrong spot. And our car not, not so great at the moment. Car needs some more upgrades before we're able to do that, but that was, that was a good setup. Spend any though. longer in this storm, you'll soon learn what it's like to have every bone separated from your body. <laughs> Woo! We made it back. All right, give me the box. No. Thank you. Give me repair putty. But I think this pneumatic system has something to do with. Because we're finding these pneumatic tubes out in the world. I wonder if I could put stuff in here and then pick it up later. So like, what if we were to put you know, like repair kits and stuff in here, so we, if we find one of those, we can grab it later. I don't know. Oh! The box stays right where you left it. Okay. Usually what would happen is the box would uh, disappear, and then you could summon it from the dumpster. Extended warranty. Well, let's pop these pearls. They might have... Uh, more stuff. Let's see. I think we put these in here. Oh! Oh! MREs and some scrap metal and stuff. Okay. And that one's got more metal sheets and batteries. Alright, cool. A lot more random loot. Yet. I have. It's behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Oh. 
Oh. Now what do we get for technology? 1.9. That's kind of weak. But it's enough to get our better tires. We probably get better uh We probably get better tech from uh going to more dangerous ones. Well also you gotta I guess you gotta consider that when you go on the run too. When you select your zone it tells you how much is there. Yeah, we need to progress through the story to get the unstable and the corrupt, but to get the yellows, we might need to go to specific areas. There's some things that are strategic. Right, I'm going to break these things down. We got a new paint color. We'll that later. Same with lore. What is this? Is not full, inventory is mismanaged. Sulfur and smoke glows through the smoke. Smells like money. Rivers for spine between the dry pine. Oh, we can only make one of these. Those gas cylinders are kind of rare. Kind of cost us a little bit in our last run. Well, not really, because I want more tech than I do with materials now. Okay. Nothing left in there. Okay, let's get the upgraded tires. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. Oh, these tires are such a good upgrade. Man, look, look at these tires, man. The, the thick, the thickness. Look at that. Mm. That's a good tire right there. Is the car front or rear wheel drive? I guess all wheel drive for the game, I suppose. I have a feeling like if only one tire was touching the ground, it would kind of have like a, a diff lock effect where just to keep the player going, they just make it so all wheels can push forward. 
Hell yeah. Alright, upgrades complete. The back and go. I like this song, dude. Summer tire in there? Yeah. Let's not put in this wrapper. Okay, yeah, so alright, the gas cylinders are the new gold. Those are really important. Ooh, it was getting a little low on that one. We may have some extra points left for upgrades, so we might want to do an upgrade. We got point four. That requires point five. Hmm. Looks like most of these upgrades are going to require at least point five. Okay. Well, let's do some bondo, and then we're going to do some upgrades. We we got to go back out again to do research. We gotta go on another run. Another run. looking better. Rude headlight, we'll just trash that and make a new one. Wrapper if we don't already have one. That one's almost broken. Oh, can we make new stuff for our clothes? All right. 
It's alive. Oh. <laughs> no quirks yet, I think. Point in this though, everything in the car is okay except for that headlight. It needs a little repair, but that's fine. Alright, let's do another supply run. destination. Back roads. Before we go to that Cerium location, I want way better stuff going on. Yeah, I want to go for story too, but we need more arc points in order to get all the upgrades. And I think the upgrades are going to keep us safe. Like, just until right now, our car was pretty weak. Did it have a pink dove for perpetual stability? I don't know, I didn't see it. But I didn't see it in the first one, either. Or, well, I did see it, but I don't, I don't know where I saw it. Does that make sense? Should have saved. Hopefully it did. Wait, did we already go here before? And there you go, on the upper right corner. Oh, there you... Oh, it's where the clock is. Up, up at the upper right where it says OK and then low. There's low numbers of stability thingies. Well, these all say okay, but I don't know if I trust that. Hmm. Remote, remote. But wait a minute. Before it said, like, back roads. It changes the damn name of some of these things. Yeah, let's just give this one a try. We just need some more... We just need some more, uh... Research points, really. I mean, that's what we could do, is jump into an area, grab the arcs, and then just bail. Nothing says we have to stay for very long. But I don't like that. Like, it, said, it changed, uh... From something else to back roads. It happened last time, too, where we saw it said something like, um... Visitor center and, like, train station, and then it changed again when we hovered over it differently. Like when we switch to something else. I don't know. It, that should only change after like a run. Because then the world changes. This is the only thing to pull you away from freedom and democracy. Oh, and about those anomalies. Game's pretty good. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone and limb technology, but a footnote in the history books, the anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. Every time you complete a run, it changes its instability. Maybe, I don't know. Looks like there's a lot of uh, research sites at the end of this road, though. Ooh, th I need that. That's the, uh... I need this for an upgrade. Uh, what the hell is this called? Barky Mist or something? Blue Mist? Thizzling Mist. That's it. Do 
do need to go over here, though. Now we got them off-road tires, brother. Nothing could stop us. Hell yeah. Okay, well, something. Yeah. But at least they're not going to get flattened on a, a damn rock. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, look at that. Like playing snow runner, brother. Hell yeah. This is what I'm here for. I want more than these bad boys. An anchor plug, that's what they're called. and then we'll head into town. A ghost in the shell. A ghost on the road and a shell in the pit. Damn it, where are my vans? Where's my Arda trucks? Was there? Was there one? Where? I could like feel it in my bones that I was missing one. That's why I said that. There was one there? One. Ate those damn things. Wait, what's this? One of those pneumatic tube things. Hold on. What the heck? Hey! Wait, are you healing me? I don't know if this is the good one or the bad one. Wait, scan it, scan it, scan it. Oh, that's the happy one. Those are supposed to be good. But still, you need to die. Marsh eggs and a high-tech steering wheel. Ooh, we're getting upgrades. Love when you get new steering wheel. Yeah, that was the happy here. He's supposed to heal you, but I need I needed him to die. These damn things take off the parking brake too. Chad, look a van. Did you guys see this one? You probably missed it. Holy hell, look at the stuff in there. Oh my god, they put so much stuff in there. They're even vans are even more as S plus plus tier. Did you see all that stuff? Some of it's like uh, just cosmetics, but Oh my god, look at that stuff. Dude, can we ditch the station wagon and get the van? Just drive around the loot the loot van? This is a looter scooter. It's funny how I mentioned that right when we drove past when I was like, I, I, I bet there's a van around here somewhere. Good job, chat. I was hiding behind that blueberry bush emote in chat. I couldn't see it. Okay, so now we're going back this way. Yeah, the tires are pretty good. Well, they're okay on hills, but not steep incline. You, you can get up most of one. And the Art of 
truck? No. Nice thing though, the car can go through most trees. No problem. there, buddy. Ooh, more marsh eggs. And we got unlocked a new paint job, Cowabunga. Sweet. Oh, chat, when we get back, we're going to have to build that detailing station if we get enough uh, limb points. Get to the van. That seems to be all the anchor points here. Uh, of course, they would do that to me. I think my least favorite anomaly in the game is the hot dust. Because sometimes you just got to go through it. And it, honestly, it doesn't really do that much damage and it's not that big of a deal. But when it goes on the map, it's like, tee -hee, try to get past me. Like, I'm not going to get past you, I'm just going to drive through you. Be behind us. bugged out. Dream's fine for me. Eh, maybe a YouTube glitch. Anytime that happens, just do a quick refresh. Sometimes it happens. No good more gas cylinders. Thank goodness. Ooh, transmuter. Uh, turns duct tape into 9 volt batteries. What a weird combo. Anything around the base of the tower? No, yes, a dumpster. Baby. Dumpsters, vans, and Arta trucks are like the uh, the best. Oh no, where's the car? Wait. Oh, I lost the car chat. We're never gonna get it home now. Found it. I was scared there for at least zero seconds. <gasps> Is that our bobblehead? Oh, Cowabunga must be a... Uh... Oh, I think I know that one. I think that's the one with the little surfer who's above, like, the shark's mouth. A little bobblehead. There are a lot of sites there. We're going directly there. Dude, I gotta use the map marker more. I When I played this, I don't think the map marker would actually display it. I, I think that was one of the things I said for feedback, is that I wanted it so if you marked the map, it would appear on the... like, in the game and not on the map itself. I don't remember it being a thing. Maybe it was. However, I will say, I want the uh, the icon of the car to be a little bit bigger. But I think they made it smaller so you could tell precisely where you were a little better. That'll buff out. Oh my god, I think we hit a bunny. I don't like it.
the poly. Welcome back. More loot and booty. You'd think this, uh, you know, beaker full of chemicals would be chemicals, but no. Yeah, if you ever lose where the car is and you can't find your way back, it'll show where the car is in the upper left corner. If you get about 30 meters away, uh, upper left corner, it'll show you both uh, direction and distance. Helpful pro mega pro tip. Also, if you hit the accelerator, your car will accelerate. Ultra mega pro tip. 10,000 hours, guys, in the demo. Mega pro. Okay, let's go to this building. Did they add a Wendy's to the game? I keep calling them and they told me to stop. Stop calling them. They add a Wendy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good enough. Check the map. Okay, I think we went to that one, right? achievement for that. Think hood babies will start playing in the in the in the in the, in the in game radio? I don't know about that. So we got a house right and building left. Right, 
time to go to that other thingy. Oh, oh, what the hell? Mini storm. We got a mini storm blowing through. Full of loot. Get in there, pal. Oh, good. The storm's gonna pass by us? Question mark. I went to that tower in that building. Are you sure we hit up everything? Wait a minute. I hit up that tower, but not this one. game just exploring loot. Yeah, there's a story too. Pneumatic tube station just in the middle of the road? Okay. Wait, what the hell? Wait a minute. Wait, something's going on with this one. Hold on, there's something to this one. our meeting notes. Oh shit. Man, dude, you scared me. Bad. Ah, oh, whatever. Do it the old way. be lit for them to oh yeah there we go anyway there was a cable that went over here I think we're supposed to follow that cable it looks like there's a shock tower too so anything in here nope. okay that cable thing is new Hearing new noises. There goes that damn cable still. Oh, it's a relay. Circuit gate. How does that mean? Circuit gate. 
Well, that must be it right there. That's a small... That You can barely see that. It looks like there's something on the road. They don't do a good job of showing what that is. They give you plenty of time. That is so much more time than we're used to. Alright, zone's closing soon. Yeah, that's some kind of a new secret. I don't know what that is. The, uh, what's it called? Relay thingy? We'll see what that does. I'm going to leave that on. No way in here. Okay, we found a way in. Oh, I was supposed to scan this too. Wait. Oh. Flash shards to electronics. Ooh, that's a good trade. Very good trade. What do we got for glass shards? Ten? Wow. Thank you. Probably more in the car. Eighteen. Oh, man. If I cut that power, maybe that machine wouldn't have worked. Maybe. Glass shards for electronics seems like an excellent trade. Oh, uh, we need to get the plasma. Yellow zone's closing. We can go to the gate that's at the top. That one's on the road. This is some kind of gate. I'm gonna have to read about this later. A circuit gate, and then we found a button at the end of it. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to do. We'll have to find that out. It looks like it's open. I could see it maybe being a thing where if it's closed on the... Yeah, let's do it. Now of course, the zone closes on the devil. Alright, give me... Drop pot. Let me get some healing items. Sweet ride, thanks, Brad. Also, I know we do have another stream scheduled, but this game too good.
Nightingale's fun too, but you know. I'm just going to drive forward slowly. Good drop pod. impressed. Not bad, newbie. I agree, ma'am. Not bad indeed. Oh, the color values are on rarity? Oh, okay. So if something's purple, it's like more rare than like gray. Oh, man, that was a mess. Not a mess. That was fine. Yeah, Nightingale's moved a little bit. Because this is just too fun. Well, let's see. So now we want to get. We got 2.6. What should we get next? Steel bumpers? Uh, maybe we should upgrade our armors and stuff. But what do we need to upgrade our storage? Oh, swamp coral. Okay, we haven't found that yet. Could upgrade the storage capacity of the car, so that would be... We would need... Where is it? Side storage. A trunk in the trunk. Unlock the side rack. Okay. Oh, there it is. More storage is needed. It's a shame we can't craft those things. We have to, like, unlock them. side storage. There it is. Oh, we can make these. Okay, so we can make the side storage, but the racks have to be researched. This is this is why I did that little why we went on the side journeys. Get extra tech for this. So let's make storage. What is that under? Utilities.
The storage is so cool in this game because it's like this is basically like a giant suitcase and then like I don't know a shoebox and some other. It's just strapped to the side of the car, so it gives you these oddly shaped storage thingies. I like it. We'll put health in this one. Still playing nice, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I should have woke up way earlier for this one. We started our usual time. That was too late. Also, we could do the uh, detailing station and stuff. Well, we'll put all the fancy stuff in here for now. One day I'll see a streamer put lights on the side. I want to see those. Yeah, we could do that to test that out. I don't see any real reason to do it yet. But maybe... Either A, it's a thing that's kind of meant more for like when you're playing in a darker version. Or maybe B, there's something that will attack you unless you shine a light on it or something. Like maybe it'll fling to the car or something without light. There might be a reason for it. But uh, supplies are limited now. And same with space in the garage. Can we upgrade our storage? Uh, we need more steel sheets. All right, we should probably upgrade our storage here. Extendo Storage. The only Harry Potter spell I know. Rod Gray with the big O five bomb. Look at that. Cool, enjoy your new emotes, everybody. We gotta get those ones for Helldivers. I kind of forgot about it because I couldn't get, I couldn't get into the game the other day. Oh, look at that extended storage. Look at that. Mm, beautiful. Uh, I'll take this for now. first quirk. Or do we? Apparently we don't have that unlocked yet. Yep. Horn honks when trunk closes, but we don't have that researched yet, so we can't fix that. We have our first work. You can turn those off, by the way, but I love them. Eventually, it'll be things like, um, you know, if you turn the wheel to the left, the lights will dim. If you open the driver's side door, the trunk will open or close or whatever.
that's broken. Okay, let's install another headlight. I made that other one. Headlights are very easy to break. Wait, is that a crude bumper? Did we, did we unlock steel bumpers? What about rubber baby buggy bumpers? Don't unlock those yet, okay. I got caught up in a dream. Can someone tell me what it means to live and forgive and let my life go? Somehow it's not making sense. Living between the distress. I'm making a life, but I also am taking a home. The tracks are jumping on their own now. The rain is asking if I know how much it hurts with the Okay, let's repair. Out of camera. All right, lots of space for loot. I, I know, car. I know. Beep beep. All right, I think we can go to the big area. I think we're gonna have to go through this way to get there. Oh, it opens up E5 again. But because we're going to go through two areas, we can get all the uh, research for the two areas. Oh. Okay. Let's fuel up. Yeah. The developer sent over, if you didn't see, the developer sent over an early copy to us and also. Mm -hmm. It's like a little, um, you know, mechanics uniform or whatever. Got my name on it. It's pretty cool. They sent over like a little red toolbox, like the one sitting over on the shelf. Here's what the toolbox looks like. Got stickers all over it, like the car. Here's the one I mentioned earlier with the uh, Sasquatch. loaded with stuff exclamation point instagram exclamation point twitter i'm going to show off all the things that they uh, sent over by the way i'm going to take some pictures of it because they also sent over a um like a scale model of the car that's actually like a light display and it looks really cool so it looks like the uh, yeah i like the no bad days sticker too but uh they sent over a little model of the car that also has like um a little stand and some lights so Follow me, follow me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, I think we're ready for another expedition. Oh, 
have to fix the quirks and stuff when we get back to. When we shut the trunk, the horn goes off. That's when we know. But now, we're going to go to the, um, we're going to go do main story stuff now. So we're on to the main story. We have to go through Echo 5 to the town center. What does that mean? Junction conditions 1, malfunctioning mess. estimate. Alright, that's about as far as we can get with that. Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? You, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> this again. Hey, look, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? 1964 this started to happen? Dude, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would Possibly exhibit the anomalous one. properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but... Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. That first one, I just couldn't get at all. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants' effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? Yeah, it's a pretty if cool car. If only we knew where remnants came from, then we have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right, yeah, 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 the anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird, like visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Let's go, Grinch. 
Every once in a while when we go through those left rights, it'll play some cool stuff over the up, uh, like some audio stuff. And if we hit it again, it'll bring back the music. That well, looks like we found our first Arta truck. Awesome. Oh, nice. What is that? Steel door? We already got one. We'll skip that. Thank you. Oh, hi, guys. Tenacious Reaper, thanks for the raid on Twitch. Nice shades, thanks. Let's see if we have road flares. I don't have any road flares. Okay. That's fine. Beep. Also, in this one, we're not going to escape. We need to drive through to the upper left corner. This one we don't want to leave. Oh man, the car's getting some real bad quirks. Radio station's changing and other things are happening. I don't think I hit one of those things. I think it has to do with going left and right. Nicole plays. Thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome aboard. Oh, more paint. Nice. Might be worth it, glass shards.
to make that either. Another dumpster. The music is nice in this game, yeah, I agree. What's up, Andrew? Oh, hey. I didn't know we could go into these. Oh, I thought it was the bottom floor. Chaos, welcome, dude. Thanks for the 40 months. Wow, 40 months is a raptor hatchling. Glass shards to electronics again. Mm. Oh, we do seem to be finding more computers and stuff. See more lore. Speed run. Just order this, you drain my wallet. Hey, it's not my fault that there's cool, good games coming out all the time. Dave the Diver, Dredge, this. These are all wacky, cool games. It's very well done. This is like how Bradford likes his steak. Can you believe that? Well done. And I call this guy a friend. Purple paint, wow. Beep beep. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth next week? Yeah. I don't think I'll have time to do that one. That one, that one that's a big one. I did like uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake though. Well, we got an art of. Oh, oh. Wait, is it, oh, is that a van? Oh, van, van, van. I think that's a van. We have a van. Van! Oh, I don't need the crude door, thank you, but I will take all of everything of all of everything. Horse girl sticker. Horse girl. Is that going to be like a superhero thing? Horse girl. Is she here to save the day? Nay. Oh, damn. Uh, let's go left. There was also a police car here. Security car. I don't know. 
can't get any other armor unless we get the liberator. Okay. Floor. of limb technology is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at first. In the decade between 1955 to 1965, limb is called many things. The promise of the future, the herald of a new age, the never spoken of again. You don't have to dig very deep for the gaps in the story to emerge. The presidential demonstration is the only physical proof we ever see of it. Compared to the Manhattan Project, developed under airtight shroud of secrecy, why was Lim paraded around in the papers? And if it really was the technological quantum leap to answer all our wildest dreams, why did it blink out of existence? The story of Lim technology is one hell of a maze, and the key to it is a woman named Dr. Ophelia Turner. Did Ophelia Turner, by all measure a failed physicist as far as her public record goes, truly invent Lim technology? Or was she held up as a rosy the Riveter for the Cold War? An atomic Annie to excite the masses during the no-holds-barred race against the Soviet Union? Was she a myth, martyr, or monster? The hell? A figment of the imagination, true savior, or a convenient scapegoat? I think that's I'm a glitch. Chiaki Sarahashi, and in this nine-part series, I aim to find Dude, out. Nine-part series. Okay, that must have been a glitch. I yeah, I, I salvaged a lab computer and a bunch of crude doors popped out. That that's got to be patched. Okay. Okay. This is my 17th grand But this one is by far the best. Arda, you're not gonna find me. Buzz off, thank you. The other day, I got to thinking, I'm always running from the weird stuff that happens out here. Well, this must be one of the hundred survivors that are here. I could befriend one. So I set out, and y'all, I did it. You know those, like, goopy, glowy, floating... Its name is Sam. Sam? Oh my god. Free scrap? Yeah, those doors are too uh Well, you're right. I, I could spend our time scrapping those crude doors, but they're not really even worth it, I think. I want to save space for what we're about to find in the next area. closing. Could wait for a, um, could wait for a drop pod. wonder if there's any more bands. Oh, there's a whole group.
Any questions? Oh, there's another van. Or is that the same one? No, it's the same one. Can't take this tunnel though. We have to take a left up here. However, wait a minute. Now well, we've taken a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Ah, I can't wait till we can get the blowtorch. that drop I want a drop pod man I really do Bondo if you can only get one game uh, Nightingale or Pacific Drive which one would you get well I guess it depends on which one do you want to do more for like uh, do you want to ba build a base or do you want to loot and have a story all about the story and looting. Nightingale has a little bit of a story, but I feel like it's more like a explore different biomes and have a good time. All right, this route sucks because I have to go. I have to go south. This is a tunnel here, so I can't exit this. This actually exits down here, so I'd have to go back this way and go across the bridge anyway. So basically, we have to go down here, take a left, or yeah, a left, and then follow that road. I want to see if the damn drop pod drops though. You want bull? I'll definitely get bull. I mean, you could start with one and play it and, and go to another. Yeah. Wait, we need to listen to a different station. I keep hearing all the same songs. What else we got? If I wait on that bridge, and I don't know. I keep getting myself into trouble, chat, you know? Waiting for these these damn zones, you know? <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm just sitting here, essentially, if you uh, don't know, essentially what happens is this ye an alarm will go off after a certain amount of time on each run, and then this yellow zone will close, and when it does, you'll start to take a little bit of damage, your car and you, eventually. But then when the red one comes in, it's real hard. Uh, so this is kind of like your warning. But if you stay in the warning area, there might be like a little blue diamond that you'll see streak across the map. And if it falls somewhere near the road, if you check it out, it's actually a crash site for a... Um, like a drop pod from space that has a bunch of real rare stuff in it, usually. 
and it'll have things that you can't get until later in the game, like a uh, an ion shield that'll protect you against that radiation. All you have to do is turn it on at the expense of your battery, or um, like a uh, radar that'll help point out where stuff is. Is that a valley to the left? Yeah, the darker colors are lower elevation, lighter colors are higher. I couldn't get to this one here, the elevation was... I couldn't find any good spot to climb. But we're gonna see if this zone gets us anything good. We are currently standing by. It might not come in, but, uh, we might have to just leave. We'll see. I'm surprised this radio is, all this radio in the game is missing ads. I haven't heard 16 ads yet after one song. Once the zone hits us, well, I, I'm gonna just take off. We'll take a little bit of damage. That's it right there. Time to go. Let's go here. Yeah, we gotta drive through that. Chill. Headlights are broken. I'm going for it. Going in, boys. There's a drop pod. door but it has a star next to it why oh my god a blowtorch come on damn it I'll take this instead oh no I need that oh my god I need it 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 Got frickin' Sasquatch on it. I need it. Okay, now we go. I know, I know. Scan, scan. I know, I know. I know, I know. Okay, we're scanning. Okay. 
Okay, you're right, chat. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're leaving. Okay, we're leaving now. Oh my god, that was a drop pod. I can't believe we did. It's so much easier to do it in these drive through ones. Dude, we got Sasquatch on the car! Now, hopefully, uh, if we paint the car... Oh, yeah. When we paint the car, we can paint uh, each individual section of the car. So we can just skip doing that door. I know there was a pneumatic thing there. I think we looted that one before. Okay, we're going up the mountain now. Grandmother's house we go. Is there no way to get up there, Mo? Crap. Come on, man. I thought there would be an easier way up there. Nope, gotta go left. We can do this. Can I drop the torch? Oh, well. Okay. We gotta get out of here. Okay. That is an annoying thing in the game, though. Sometimes you'll drop stuff in your hand. You grab something else. It's okay, though. The torch was good, but Sas Sasquatch is better. Come on, dude. Quit grabbing the wheel. Come on, man. Dude. Alright, new patch. Dude, day one patch. Remove left, right. Cool. All done. Low torch is good, but we honestly want like three of those. Do anything. Dude, I absolutely hate that damn thing. That left, right, dude. They should have left it right out of the game. Dude! Come on, man. Ridiculous. Dude. All right, the big problem today has been the damn left, right, and then the frickin' sheer cliff sides that we aren't able to, like, drive up. Like, I want some, give me some inclines that I can climb. Dude, did I hit a left, right and couldn't see it? Rage quit the 
went back to the auto save at the start of the zone. Bro, the left right is trash, dead. dude. Way too huh? freaking common. You're back at the garage. How could that be? Oh, the car got you back somehow. Very, very interesting. I'll have to observe this further. God. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. We absolutely made it out of there, dude. There are too many sheer cliffs where they don't let you access stuff. Like, what the hell was that arc at the very beginning? The arc plug? Where we couldn't get up to it at all? Yeah, we made it out of there. Ridiculous. Well, at least we saved Sca uh, Sasquatch, so most important. Um, uh, we get some of the loot. It takes some of it away. But as I, as I was dying, what I should have done is just rage quit and cheesed. So that way we could have gone back to the beginning of the run. Just to save everybody time. I should have cheesed. I love that blowtorch, but you need to get like three of them to do anything too. Like, if we, if we would have gotten that blowtorch, we could have... It could do, like, maybe two full heals on, like, two panels. Maybe, eh, maybe, like, two and a half. It's good, but it's not, like... It's like, oh, a torch. It's not, like, oh, my God, a torch. Whoa, we beat the game. Oh, wait, this is active now? What the hell? I couldn't interact with this before. Uh, let's see. Horn. Where's Horn? Horn is honked. Win. Win uh, trunk. Okay. Win trunk is closed. Oh, there's another uh, quirk then. We gotta figure out that other one. Oh my god, chat. That was atrocious. That left right thing is just, there's too many of them and they're too perfectly on the road. Like, either, either A, they can be on the road but there's gotta be less of them, or B, you gotta have them off the road. Like, nearby. There's way too many of them. Now, wait a minute. Did we get any energy? Well, we can get a steel bumper. That'll protect us. A little better. Oh, this is falling resistance. Yeah matter too much. Uh, we can upgrade the engine, but we gotta get a little further in the game. All-terrain tires. Okay, what else do we want? Oh, right, right. Um, 
All right, I'll go for these two. Yeah, I should have cheesed it to save time because that I'm doing a little manual game balancing because the the left right thing is just frequent on there. I mean, if the car, you know, if there's going to be five of those in the way, it's like, well, you may as well just get out and walk, or hit the thing and then just sit there until it is done activating and then just drive through it. We totally made it out of there. That one will be going to litigation, though. I think we'll, uh, we'll see two dubs out of that. Okay, now, the other thing. Get the car empty. We kept all the cosmetic stuff and a little bit of the health stuff, but none. Looks like we had extra food on us. Maybe ate that too. If I had that can of beans, man. Oh, it would have given us eight health. That would have been enough. That would have been enough to make it through. Yeah, we have off-road tires on it. Actually, you know what? This isn't even worth repairing. It's all... Now, why does this one have a star, anyway? Pecu peculiar. Okay, why? Is it just the design? I guess this just means this is one you can only find out in the field. And you can't, like, make it. Something like that. Won't let me repair it. Whatever, I'll put it in here. Incubator cannot repair. Wait, you just can't repair this thing at all? Why the hell use it, then? Everything in this game is going to take damage. Why the hell would you give us a door we can't repair? I can't throw Bondo on it and I can't put it in the repair machine. What if I throw it in the decombobulator? This is the type of sturdy, dependable, blah, blah, blah. that for the Sasquatch door that we can't repair it. That's, that's another one going to legal. That's going to have to go to the legal team. So the left right's going to legal, the health at the end there is going to legal. And the, a steel door that has a funny, a cool sticker on it that we can't repair. Why? I think a blowtorch only uses, uh, it's only a, a better repair option. Yeah, I want to recycle it. Yeah. Because a, re a repair should work for everything that's not a condition. Like, if something's taken damage, you should be able to repair it. But, like, in the instance of the flat tires, like, the flat tires, you need to make a sealing kit, or you just, uh, roll the, uh, pull the, uh, flat tire off and just throw it in the recycler and just make a new one. <sighs> okay, we're going to put all new everything on here. New doors, new panels, and new uh, hood. Which is a panel, technically. Alright, well, we're a veteran of this game. 
for all the hours we put in chat, we, we know what's up. So that was certainly much different, differenter than we expected. Yeah, the tunes are cool. Good music. Wait, didn't I back this time? There we go. Okay, and then we got our decaling station, so we should be able to do that. I just, I don't understand why we can't... I can't believe we can't just repair the, a cool door. Like, it was in a drop pod. It's a rare thing. I want it. That means, if, if, um, if we can find those, and we can't repair those, then I'm not going to use those, because they're just going to go bad. And Like, it's a steel door is a steel door. That's nothing special. But the fact that it has the Sasquatch logo on the side is cool. But if I try to display it somewhere in the game, it might disappear. I don't know. Oh yeah, we gotta pull that door off too. Yeah, steering wheel upgrade. That's just cosmetic. That's just a cosmetic upgrade. Oh yeah. I keep thinking that this is gonna put it in the box for me when it fits it out, but it doesn't. I think if you leave anything in that transfer trunk, it'll get deleted between runs too. So just make sure you absolutely put stuff in the uh, make sure you absolutely put stuff in storage. And this toolbox counts too as storage. You can put stuff in there too. Alright, are we fueled up? If we had the beans, if I would have eaten those beans, we would have been onto the onto the cabbie. That would have been cool as hell. Oh. Oh, can, ow, ow. oh that's very kind. Thank you. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Maybe this is the game's way of saying sorry, my bad. Uh oh boy. Um What is that? Fabric? Thank you. I think there's a little bit too much junk in the dump, sir. Someone clip that. Well, we just got everything we needed. Thank you. Okay, so we never again need scrap metal ever. <laughs> I think the dumpster shot out a free car. Oh, I don't need the crude door. No, thank you. I'm starting to think, chat, there might be a few things about this game that are a little, um... I'm, I might be right when I'm pointing out a few of these things. There is such a thing as too helpful, Dumpster. I mean, at this point, why don't you... Why don't you go ahead and shoot out an M1 Abrams? I'd like to see that. Storm get through. Sixteen inches of freedom. The hell else is in here? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. Oh, what? Oh, I can't even scrap it for like parts. 
Wait, what if we do this? Hold on, what if we do this? Let's get the vacuum. <laughs> There's still more out there. If you think about it, it just sounds like rain. Dad. Hey, what the hell? The ones we put in the car disappeared, but... Well, it gave us one. Okay, I guess the ones in the um, vacuum are the real ones. And these are the imposters. It gave us a few things. So can... Okay, then those I don't care about. Alright, so we're going to have to make our own steel stuff. So I'm going to leave crude stuff in here and the machine can take it. I don't care. Take the headlight. Take the steel panel. I'll take this. Unless the vacuum pulled those ones off the car. Oh, don't tell me the vacuum pulled these ones off the car. Uh-oh. What's making that happen? stuff. I think by using the vacuum it's, uh, I don't know, some, something happened. What if we load this save? Where does this bring us? Oh yeah, the BS section. I don't like that, by the way. This shows our, our manual save at 426. This happened at like 4... We got back here at like 453. Oh, wait, no, this is in-game time. So, yeah, but... Uh, oh, there it is. Well, no, it doesn't show save time. See if reloading the game does anything. Nope. Um. Hmm. This is a little questionable. If we. All right. Here's what. Here's what I think we should do. Um. We fix up the car all nice and get ready to go if out on a run. Bind, we fix up the car to go out on a run, and we go out on a run. And if it fixes itself, we're good. If it doesn't. Visit to the friendly dumpster out back. Oh, I always seem to so find just what have? I need in there. <laughs> Alright, things are a little hmm at the moment.
I think after the game tried to catch us in that, um, after it unlawfully uh, prohibited us from going to the second section and committed a crime, now it's trying to uh, cover its tracks and bury it in steel panels. Nice try, game. We see it clear as day. Yeah, the game has a quirk we're trying to solve. Yeah, this, this is another level of quirk solving on top of that. Yo, General SJJ, thank you very much for the 37 months. All right. Well, certainly a fantastical first run into this game, though, I've got to say. Aside from that little uh, mishap towards the end there, uh, damn good run. We've got tons of materials, lots of research. Although, my only concern so far is that there's a few things that are kind of impossible to get to without going on crazy roads. Like, for example, when we started that last run, there was an arc plug up on a cliff that it just didn't seem like we could get to either on foot or by car. So I hope that doesn't mean that things that are absolutely required to get to, to com like go further into the game, aren't out of our reach and we have to do another run just because of that, which is annoying. Additionally, um, you know, the, like the dumpster thing and the left to right, left to right's being plentiful and uh, all that stuff is like a little... Hmm, We'll have to see. Yeah, panels keep disappearing off the car. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do about that. But uh, worst case scenario, we'll... Um, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. We'll see what happens. But does the game say we have a hood or no? No. Wait, what's up with the windshield? Can your windshield break in this game? Oh, damn. Now that's a new thing. Well, we'll have to fix that, too. Didn't even realize Although it doesn't look like you can replace it, you just repair it. We just need to make a ceiling kit, though. Not a big deal. Alright, well, that's new. Didn't even know that. Full game restart? Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Oh, save and quit? Don't do that. I don't know. I should have cheesed it. I knew better. I knew. Alright, things froze. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'll see you all, uh in our next stream starting right now thank you very much everybody for watching pacific drive and i'll be back in a little bit for our next big o stream we'll be back uh, probably tomorrow for more of this one so one's in the chat and i'll see you all very soon thanks again for watching everybody goodbye